Don't forget to always isolate your connections with electric tape or wire nuts. First, cut off the end of the power supply wire. On the transformer, identify the positive and negative wires. Note, the positive side has white dashes running along the wire and the negative is solid black. On the receiver cable harness, identify your positive, which is gonna be red, your negative, which is gonna be black, your common, which is your yellow, and your normally closed connection, which is your blue. Connect the positive from the receiver, which is your red wire, to the positive from the transformer. Connect the negative from the receiver, which is your black wire, to the negative from the transformer. Connect the common from the receiver, which is gonna be your yellow wire, to the negative from the transformer. Now you should have the normally closed or blue wire free for the next step. Now you can connect the harness to your wireless receiver. Now you must match the sequence of the dip switches on your receiver to the transmitters so that they can communicate. On the push button, identify your normally closed connector, which is marked with NC, and your common connector, which is marked with a C. Connect the normally closed from the receiver, which would be your blue wire, to the normally closed of the push button. Bring an extra wire and connect it to the common terminal of the push button. Connect the piece of wire from the common on the push button to the negative terminal of the magnetic lock. Connect the piece of wire from the positive of the power supply to the positive terminal of the magnetic lock. Now you should have a fully operational kit. Plug in the transformer and test your circuits. Thanks for watching and until next time.